hey guys welcome back so in today's video we're talking about the common causes of breast pain starting from the normal to the abnormal one and also to the ones that you need to run to the hospital because your life may be in danger i'm dr akoche omale a licensed medical doctor so now let's dive right into the video so i have carefully written down all the points on my phone so that i don't forget at the cause of our interaction so the number one on our list is called premenstrual syndrome another name for premenstrual syndrome is also called cyclical breast pain so just as the name implies premenstrual syndrome this means the signs and symptoms that you may usually feel just before your menstrual cycle some person it could be a day or two days before their menstrual cycle and there are some signs and symptoms that people usually feel just before their menstrual cycle begins every menstrual cycle so for some person they usually have breast pain for other people they have stomach pain for some people they may feel dizziness and also mood swing then for others they may be tired yeah, so if you experience any of these signs, please comment it in the comment section and let us know the kind of sign that you experience. The premenstrual syndrome is so because of hormonal changes. Now, there are some hormones that act on your breast as well, such as oxytocin, um, progesterone, and estrogen. So this hormone can, in some ways, prepare your breast for pregnancy and also for menstrual cycle. So now, the hormonal changes will kind of influence the cells of your breast and cause them to pain you at times. One thing with the premenstrual syndrome is that you usually feel the pain on both breasts. Yes. So please, if you are feeling the pain on just a single breast, then you need to run to the hospital because it may be implying something different. And also one thing with the cyclical breast pain is that the moment you enter into your menstrual cycle or maybe you start menstruating, the pain usually resides. You understand? So if the pain continues even after you started menstruating, then you need to run to the hospital because it may be implying something different. Also, you will need to re-examine your breast for some changes. So if you find any lump in it, then you need to run to the hospital. If there's any discharge of any sort, either blood or maybe any fluid such as pus coming out then also you need to run to the hospital because it may be implying something different so please at this point please do not forget to like and subscribe the number two on our list is called pregnancy so one of the early symptoms of pregnancy even before morning sickness is breast pain some persons may experience breast pain at the early stage of their pregnancy and also they may also have some breast fullness like they'll be seeing their breasts becoming somehow more heavier than before now this is so because of this sharp increase in some hormones such as progesterone, estrogen, and HCG. So the sharp increase in this hormone will tend to act on your breast, reforming your breast cells and also preparing them for pregnancy. So one of the things that you need to do is that if you're married and also if you're sexually active and you start having breast pain, then you need to do pregnancy tests, either with test strip or maybe you can go to the hospital for ultrasound. So if you do the pregnancy test and it comes out to be positive, then the most likely cause of that breast pain is pregnancy but if it turns out to be negative then you need to run to the hospital specifically an oncologist to do some necessary tests in order to rule out breast cancer and any other cause of breast pain yeah the number three on our list is called mastitis so mastitis is a name given to breast inflammation due to infection you understand so some of the signs i'll be feeling for mastitis is that your breast may become you know very very warm so if you touch your breast and then you touch another part of your body your breast will be more hotter and also you may be feeling some sense of swelling of the breast and also there'll be increase in the breast the temperature of the breast you understand and also you'll be feeling pain at the same time so if you're having mastitis then you need to go to the hospital because there is a form of breast cancer that is known as inflammatory breast cancer that usually presents like mastitis so you need to go to the hospital so that they rule out inflammatory breast cancer because it can be very very rapid and very very progressive in nature so you need to rule out inflammatory breast cancer from mastitis and then they can start giving you some drugs such as antibiotics you know to like cure the mastitis so the number four on our list is called fibrocystic breast changes now i'm going to like break it down for you now you know the breast is made up of so many connective tissue and also some functional tissue such as the lobules and other things and this tissue tends to respond to your body hormones such as estrogen and progesterone so sometimes some of the structures in your breast may become very swollen and then it will now form a cyst so if you are touching your breast at times maybe your regular breast examination you may find a cyst in it so sometimes like you know a very small tennis or peanut size in your breast just that you may not be able to differentiate it from other kind of breast tumor just by yourself so you need to go to the hospital so that they can do some examination and help you differentiate it from any other dangerous kind of breast tumor and then they can decide on your treatment plan and what we this cyst is that the size also increase and decrease per time depending on your menstrual cycle so for some person, just before their menstrual cycle, the size of the cyst usually increase and after their menstrual cycle, the size of the cyst will reduce. 
So this one is not dangerous, it is harmless and your oncology will tell you all of this. So if you are palpating to your breast and then you find any tumor of any sort, either a cyst or anything, please go to the hospital so that with the appropriate test, they will be able to like, you know, differentiate whether it is a dangerous kind of breast tumor or a benign that is something that is not dangerous. The number five on our list is called hormone replacement therapy. So for some women that have low estrogen level, their doctors may prescribe some some pills for them that contain some hormones such as estrogen. So this is called hormone replacement therapy. So now for this kind of people, they may start having some form of breast pain. As we all know, estrogen is one of the hormones that also cause breast pain. So if you are on hormone replacement therapy, either maybe at the start of the therapy or maybe towards the end of the therapy, like reducing the dose, you may start having some breast pain and it is somehow completely normal. If you are on hormone replacement therapy or even any kind of hormone at all, then you need to tell your doctor the signs and symptoms that you are feeling so that you can do one or two things about it. Yeah, the number six on our list is called birth control pills. For some persons that may be on oral contraceptive pill, one of the side effects for that drug is breast pain. So if you are on oral contraceptive pill and you are having breast pain, it could be the reason why you are having the breast pain. So you need to tell your doctor so that your doctor can switch to you know another different form of contraceptive. The number seven on our list is called poorly fitted bra. So for some ladies, they may choose to wear you know a cup size that is smaller than their breast, and this cup size will start adding pressure you understand adding pressure to their breast which may result in breast pain so one thing that you need to do as a lady please wear the cup size that is appropriate for your breast size you understand just wear the one that is just enough to keep your breast in place without it moving all about so if you're experiencing breast pain and then you discover that you know your bra is somehow very, very tight it could be the reason why you're having that pain once you change it to you know the one that is just enough to hold your breast in place without causing you pain the pain will stop so go for a cup size that is appropriate for your breast size. Hope that's okay. Yeah, the number eight on our list is called muzzle pain. You know, the breast is not just hanging, you understand? It is seated on the chest and also some muscles there, specifically the pectoralis major muscle. So for some ladies that may want to like start their weight loss journey or maybe healthy living with exercise and also weight lifting. So as you're lifting the, the weight, you're also building that muscle and that muscle may start having some strain or some pain. That could be mistaken for breast pain so the pain is not coming from the breast but since the breast is seated on the muscle it may be as though the pain is coming from the breast so one thing that you do is that so that you don't take any chances that try to examine your breast very well in front of the mirror and ensure that you don't find anything or ensure that there's nothing wrong with your breast and secondly just continue to exercise your body will get used to it and the pain you know we go away with time okay the number nine on our list is called trauma so if you have trauma to the breast that means if you accident if you accidentally fall on your breast or maybe if you sleep on your breast or maybe if something hits your breast or maybe if somebody punch your breast or maybe if something hits your breast mm, it's called trauma so trauma is one of the common cause of breast pain so if you have had trauma in the past then and you are still feeling that pain it may be as a result of you know that trauma that you have had so if you feel the breast pain for more than two days then you need to run to the hospital because most likely that trauma must have caused some damage in your breast resulting in formation of some necrotic tissue in your breast that may tend to spread with time so you need the doctor to help you like identify the cause and also begin treatment as fast as possible and the number 10 on our list is called breast cancer so breast cancer is one of the reason for breast pain but it is not a common reason for breast pain because most breast cancer does not cause pain and that is why they usually go on unnoticed you understand but some breast cancer can cause pain such as you know inflammatory breast cancer so if you're having pain at any time please try to examine your breast you understand if you find any any tumor there if you find any changes there if you find any anything that looks like eczema some crustaceans please run to the hospital immediately because it could be a breast cancer so breast pain can come in any form and any cause and it could be of varying intensity depending on the cause you understand so some breast pain could be normal and other breast pain may be abnormal so if you feel breast pain at any time one of the things that you need to do first is to please examine yourself if you find anything don't do any home remedy run to the hospital immediately because it may be implying something so let me know if you have any question for me in the comment section and i'll be there to answer please don't forget to like and subscribe and also share this video to your loved ones because you might just be saving their life so thank you very much for your time and may the lord bless you